Doc, do you get a lot of people in here on acid and like bad trips? Some people have a bad trip the first time. Still others have one or more good trips and then they go their mind. And then they blow their mind. 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 LSD, also known as acid, is a colorless liquid. Blows dirt now. 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 It is dropped off the sugar cube or a tiny bit of paper. This is the kind they use for LSD. For LSD. Oh, there's money. Stuck, man. Another important thing to remember about this drug is that you could have a flashback. It's a reoccurring, so repeat. Prior experience without taking any more LSD. Without taking any more LSD. It's like just destroying your brain. And you go on trips that you can't even control. And you go on trips that you can't even control. Blow LSD, also known as acid. Acid. Acid is a colorless liquid. And you go on trips that you can't even control. LSD, also known as acid. Acid is acid is a colorless liquid. I got no time for chicks, man. All I got time for is pot. It's the only thing I do. That's my bag. Besides, you can't do nothing with chicks when you're smoking pot. It's a waste of good pot. Bracing myself for what it was going to feel like to have bullets going all through my body. Sick of being big. 
that for what I did to those poor families. And I understand their right to hate. I knew I was sick. Here it comes again. The urge to dance with you. The urge to bind your wrist and make my dreams come true. You escape, but the man just brings you back. They work for me. The white light in the black. sick or evil or both. Thank God there will be no more harm that I can do. Terrifying. Hello, Deborah. This is Susan. I'm starting in with your first session one feedback tape. And before I begin it, I want to say again to you, welcome to the process. And before I begin it, I want to say again to you, welcome to the process. Welcome to the process. Welcome to the process.
much that you really never got any strength or stability from your parents that you really never got any strength or stability from your parents the crossing of the spokes are there to try and form an adequate center but even they don't quite meet indicating a lot of swings between extremes of moods and poorly integrated emotions and uh, tell us that your parents offered you with no frame of reference to build your life on or a stability inside of you so that you would have the strength to cope with the external world to cope with the external world which you've mentioned many times in your notes and both and also in your one-to-one session with me is quite a problem for you there's no inner strength strength as far as I can see in it. And he rolled it, it rolled very awkwardly in the world. A center is a relationship to one's parents, and what you have here is no center. There's no central core, um, indicating a confused self-image, and basically no parental identification.
just threw it in for a friend of mine. So I'll tell you this story about me and the crew. It includes another girl that likes to screw. This girl's name, Debbie does them all. She rocks the whole crew. The girl ain't small. Time her crime, hoeing all the time. Cause it's whole or die. In this city, it's a bad thing to say. I know it's kinda shitty. It's the way things are. You can't have no pity. Around you, burning rock in hell. Holy, dying, cheating, killing, and lying. You deserve to die.
motherfucker. Get in a comfortable position. Close your eyes and take a few relaxation breaths. As you breathe in, say to yourself silently the words, I am. And as you breathe out, say to yourself silently the word, relaxed. I am relaxed. With each breath, allow yourself to become just a little more relaxed. 
Now let your mind's eye take you on a journey, a journey into space. Imagine that you are floating in a blue, warm sky. You have no fear because you know you cannot fall.